Good morning, YouTube. It is 10 a.m. in the great state of Texas, and we got another marathon project. Today, we are doing some kind of yellow. Uh, this is the first time I'm watching this. Uh, I can tell you that the bowl project worked out, and I can't focus. This is extra fine yellow. That's what we're going to call it. Some kind of like neon yellow. And I think I add a little bit of yellow pigment in it, just like last week's bowl, trying to stick with the same color theme through all these projects. Mix it matching it a little bit later on in the series, but for this one, we're using this cool neon color. And we're doing a little bit more of a shallower project today. Last week, we did a little bit larger project. It wasn't even large. It was just in a different pot that wasn't this shallow. So again, two and a half quart, mix it up. I'm gonna throw the epoxy, the dye in there. It, it's like this mustard orange yellow i might be colorblind i don't know uh and then throwing a lot of pigment in there just to get a nice contrast in yellow color giving it a good stir here you can see everything mixing up real nice and neat and we're using east coast resin on this one getting everything just flushed the way that i want it to be gotta give it a good stir i already mixed it in the two and a half quart already and by this time i'm just mixing in the color making sure the pigment's in there so got this like yellow trend i'm gonna call this one the lemon bowl i think i think that's what i'm gonna call it so four and a half hours in the pressure pot get this thing popped out and it looks like a jello mold it looks really cool just like last week's bowl everything is nice flush you can see the even distribution of the glitter it's still yellow it's translucent so you still get that cool color effect to it so super excited about this one it's not going to be as tall as the one we did previously but this is still you know pretty significant that we're going to get a nice little dish out of it so again don't be stingy with your hot glue make sure you put copious amounts of that on because you can never have too much hot glue actually i take the back you can have too much hot glue but i'd rather just have too much than too little and have this thing fly off the lathe and hit me in the face so getting on the edges taken care of because i pick up these pine boards at lowe's and they're kind of wonky and uneven so got to make sure you get a good attachment point so then we put the face plate on trying to get everything centered up just like we always say wear gloves when handling epoxy because it is sharp and if that piece of epoxy decides to spin on me it's going to cut my hand wide open so make sure to use gloves so got everything down nice and neat and the pine board cracked because again i said that i get this stuff from lowe's and it's not the best quality wood so it's cheap or i try to buy the cheapest material possible because woodworking and wood turning is not cheap so went ahead and added more hot glue just to make sure that the pieces stuck together so like i said we're doing a marathon project this is i don't know it, it like maybe four five six somewhere in there i'm losing track because i'm doing so many of these a day this might actually have been done before i did the blue gem bowl of gem bowl of last week but shavings everywhere all over the workshop and we're just basically just trying to get everything done because if you've ever worked with shavings from either wood or epoxy you know that everything gets everywhere all of the time so i don't have time to do that i've got less than two weeks to get all this stuff done and i don't have time to clean up the workshop every time i'm finished with the project so that's why the the floor is messy that way so anyway back to the project getting good shavings off of this one and now we're just getting that superficial layer off that we typically will need to do you can see that i'm just absolutely covered in shavings and coming back and forth between different chisels trying not to take off a lot of material trying to save as much as possible but at the same time trying to get that nice cylindrical shape and doing these tupperware bowls where you put the epoxy in it'll take the mold obviously of whatever you put it in and you can see there there's that little piece that we still haven't gotten to so just having to remove another layer so that we can go ahead and get this mortise made so obviously flipping back between tools here coming back hitting it with the round carbide tool getting everything nice and even and you can kind of tell when we get that nice cylindrical shape you can see that it all becomes one flush color once you get everything even so here we are zoomed in now we're just going to make that bottom nice and even so we can start the mortise portion of it trying to get this nice and flat so you have a nice uh, piece of material to work with so that the chuck jaws has a little something to adhere or not adhere to but to attach to once you throw it in the lathe and reverse it and we're getting good shavings off and by this time i'm pretty happy with it just coming back finishing up some edge work get everything nice clean and flush you can see there a little bit you saw that little spot that wasn't done yet and i was like ah i gotta come back just take layer by layer off getting a little bit more each time trying not to take too much material off like i said earlier 
just getting just enough to where it's even. So once we did that, now we're going to go ahead and start our mortise. And we're using the parting tool like we did for last week's project. A lot of this is just redundant. However, I always say all of these are a little bit different. They each have their own fingerprint. They're all unique to, to their own uh, build. So I enjoy doing these. And I'm trying to do as much as possible before I go. And I don't care if a lot of it's the same. I enjoy doing this. And like I said, we're trying to grow the channel on YouTube. So you got to keep feeding that algorithm. And that's a big motivation behind doing a lot of this right now. So if you've uh, if you've stuck this far in the series, you know that, you know, obviously I'm gone. So a lot of this is the same. But hey, it's still amazing. We, we got a lot of projects done in such a short amount of time. So back to the project. Got everything nice and neat on the mortise. Here we go. You can see that piece of pine board that's just all shattered into pieces. And actually... Well, you won't see it here in slow-mo, but a piece of pine board actually flew off and hit me right in the face shield. So super important, wear your face shield and your safety equipment because if you don't, you will get hit in the face with something, unfortunately. So coming back between the large gouge and the square uh, carbide tool here, and then we're going to, I believe, come back with the round carbide tool once we take the tail stock off and work down a lot of this material. And you can see that glue adhesing to the square carbide tool there just a moment ago. Uh, I guess I just kept on coming back with shallower strokes. I actually love doing that. That's actually a lot of fun. It's it's real nice and neat every time, and especially watching this on video, because every time I do do these projects, I don't necessarily watch the video once I edit it. Usually, when I'm doing the commentary, is the first time that I've seen the completed project. So it's always nice and neat to you know watch your work as you're going through it for the first time. So you're getting my real reactions. So anyway. Now that we got everything nice and neat and flush, now we're just going to do the gouging portion. And this part went really smooth. You can see there, like I said in last week's video, I wish you could feel the actual epoxy itself. Real nice and soft. That's why I think a lot of it didn't uh, set up. I did the four and a half hours in the, in the pressure pot. And then I gave it less than 24 hours. To, maybe a little bit over 24 hours to cure completely. So maybe that's why my voice just squeaked there. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's why it just didn't set up the way I want to. But either way, I still got really good material off of it. And now we've pretty much hit the depth that we want. Coming back with the uh, smaller round carbide tool and just working the edges to the to the edges that we want. Trying to get the lip of the bowl to a nice size that I typically will like. Taking the gloves off, coming back, getting a feel for how uh, thick everything is. Making sure that we're not going too deep. But once we did that, this is all of the epoxy shavings or the resin shavings from that one project adding to the giant pile of shavings that are all over my workshop absolutely everywhere don't worry there i will clean this up eventually once the marathon is complete i got i'm doing this commentary at like one o'clock in the morning so i got about a little bit over a week and a half before i have to leave so there's going to be plenty of shavings in the garage by the time i get back so my favorite part sanding just kidding i don't like sanding going all the way up from 340 all the way up to 1500 and then we're going to come back and hit it with the micro mesh here in just a second i think this is the one where like the, the pad flew out of my hand one of these it did it i can't i can't honestly remember but it ends up happening but going through all the micro mesh and then just getting everything nice and even you can see that cool orange or yellow color just popping it looks really cool so then we just come back hit it with that wood wax get everything nice and polished shined up real nice and neat this is the part where i really love it because you get to really see the color pop through and you really get that lemon kind of color i think that's what i'm gonna call this one the lemon bowl even though i think i've done a project in the past where i called it the lemon bowl this is the mini lemon bowl so here we are got everything nice and polished everything nice and neat so hope you guys are sticking through it uh through this series with me like i said doing this marathon because unforeseen work things have come up and i have to be out of the workshop for a couple of months more than likely probably longer than just a couple of months but you can see that glitter it looks absolutely beautiful love how this turned out absolutely gorgeous so thanks for sticking with me more projects to come obviously don't forget to subscribe like the video leave a comment all that fun stuff that every youtuber says and i will see you guys in the next project peace Alright, so project is done, and look at this little dude. 
So you can kind of see the glitter in it just a little bit. This is probably the smallest project we've done so far. I have one in the pressure pot that's actually smaller than this. Don't know what I'm, I, I might call this the lemon bowl or the lemon ashtray. I have no idea. Today is March 14th, 2022. You guys are probably watching this in July or August. And this is project number three of the marathon and trying to get everything done so we can have videos for the whole rest of the year. But overall, I didn't have a lot of issues with this. Uh, my fingerprints are all over it, as you can kind of tell. Could have made it a little bit more shiny had I spent a little bit more time on the uh, sanding, but we don't have time. It's like four o'clock in the morning. I'm actually gonna try to do another project before we head off to work today. Uh, but overall, really happy the way this turned out. Nothing too fancy. Like I said, these aren't gonna be fancy projects. This is just entertainment uh, for the channel. So the algorithm can appreciate it. But I, when you don't get to do something for a long period of time, you miss it. So you try to do it as much as you can before you can't do it anymore. So that's, that's another big motivator for me. So hope you liked it. Hope you guys got something out of the project. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.